What's up everybody? My name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. So now that you've collected all or some of these Oracle cards, you're wondering what are they for? In this video, I'm going to explain to you what to do with your Oracle cards. There are a total of nine unique Oracle cards plus the three God cards. These cards are part of the Oracle deck. To bind these cards together to make the Oracle deck, you're going to need to find an epic item called the Thread of Fate. If you're missing any cards, finding the Thread of Fate can help you see what cards you're missing. In the second part of this video, I will show you the secret on how to obtain the Thread of Fate. For now, let's take a look at the Thread of Fate and use it. To use the Thread of Fate, you simply put it on your action bar, select it, and right click off the action bar. Right clicking on the Thread of Fate from the action bar does not work. Your mouse needs to be off the action bar and then you right click. Keep in mind that if you do use a Thread of Fate, it will consume all of your cards. So if you want to have a display gallery of collectibles, you're going to need to reacquire these cards again. And there we have it, the Oracle deck. The Oracle deck is an offhand that gives a nice health boost and heal over time buff to you and your nearby friends. If you're looking to be the healer in your party, this offhand can turn you into a medic. Now, I did mention to the developers about this deck being a little bit underwhelming considering all the efforts involved in crafting it. They did reply to my feedback, and the good news is they are planning to buff it in the next patch. And they even said they have some more plans for it in the future. And this is pretty exciting to hear. Crafting the Oracle deck will unlock a Steam achievement called the Heart of the Cards. Do we have any Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there? Just saying. Now I'm going to show you how to obtain the Thread of Fate. Here I'm currently on one of my alt characters in the Desert of Beginnings biome, standing just right outside of the mysterious structure with the shape of an eye. This structure is one of the points of interest that can be found in the desert. It has no specific radial distance from the core, so you will need to do a bit of searching. I actually found this using my vertical pathing method that helps me find any points of interest in the game. For a detailed guide on how to perform this unique searching technique, check out my Amber Larva video guide. Notice that this point of interest has a decoration piece in the center with a light beam shining on it. So you will definitely be able to see this while searching from either the left side or the right side. Now let's go ahead and walk around the perimeter to examine the structure more closely. From the uh, mini map and the world map, you can see it's definitely uh, looking like an eye. And the world map here, you can see that it's got these green walls surrounding the structure. And outside of that, you've got the uh, sandstone walls. Now, these green walls actually are the uh, same as the uh, temple maze walls. So they are breakable. It's actually possible to mine these walls with 1280 or higher mining damage. Now, let me warn you, though. Um, if your mining damage is under 1290 or 1291, uh, you're not going to get any mining experience points hitting it. So you're definitely going to want a little bit more mining damage above 1290 to actually get any experience points. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, break these walls. And I decided to pick this one here because it's got only a one tile thickness. And that makes it a lot easier to break through especially if your mining damage is really low. And if you got low mining damage, it's going to take you quite a bit to actually break that because the wall is pretty um, tough. It's probably the tough, one of the toughest uh, walls uh, currently in the game. If you don't have high mining damage to break this, you could try using explosives to break that one tile wall and get inside. Now, I actually recommend using the drill with the uh, generator and that will allow you to break the wall uh, without using the uh, explosives because I personally don't like explosives because they're consumables and with the drill and the uh, generator I can actually reuse that on a mining node for instance so here you can see that it's uh, slowly breaking that it should be about done now and there you go so it's not that bad actually with the um, the uh, drill and you only have to uh, do it once um, through one tile thick. All right, so once you're inside, you'll, you'll notice that it's uh, protected by a bunch of stone turrets. 
And so what you can do is just go ahead and break these um, stone turrets and collect them. And take them home and reuse them for your mob farm if you want. Uh, they're pretty handy. They're free, basically, you don't, so you don't have to craft them. And the secret here to this structure is actually this decoration piece in the middle. Uh, all you got to do is smash it, and it will reveal a digging spot underneath it. Just simply dig it up, and there you have it, the Thread of Fate. And it also comes with a Caveling Prophet Mask. So here, the Thread of Fate will show that you're uh, going to need nine cards total. Okay, guys, if uh, you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that a lot. If you're missing any Oracle cards and want to know where to find them, check out my other video guides for more details. Okay, thank you for watching.